What's going on everybody? Keita Renee here and I am back with another video for you. If this is your first time here, my channel Keenly Keena is all about sharing facts and fun for content creators of all kinds and notary loan signing agents. If that's you, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're a notary loan signing agent, whatever, okay, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss any of my uploads. All right, so as you see from the title of this video today, I am breaking down the cost that you need to start your own notary loan signing agent business. Now, with any business, you guys, there's going to be startup costs. This is something that you can't really be too cheap about, okay? Like there's some things like you're gonna have to invest. I'm just being completely honest with you, but hopefully this video makes your process a whole lot easier and a whole lot cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Because some things I do think that you don't necessarily have to pay for right now. I do think that there's some things that's just not negotiable that you definitely have to pay for when you're starting a notary loan signing business or you can just pay for maybe one year instead of four years of it you know because you know what I'm saying that's what I did because you know I do things that make sense for me you know what I'm saying makes sense for me none of us are rich you know when you're starting a business I understand the need to want to be sure to be cost effective. So hopefully this video does that for you. You know how I do. Get you a pen, get you a piece of paper or whatever you take notes on because let's go ahead and spill some notary tea. Be right back. Okay, so the very first thing that you obviously have to pay for is your notary commission. It varies by state. Do not ask me how much you charge or whatever the case may be, but what type of license whatever the notary commission fee is for your state you can find that at the secretary of state's website for your state you do not have to go through the nna there's additional fees so you do not have to go to the nna to get your notary commission go directly to your secretary of state's website for your state fill in the application pay the fee, whatever the fee is here in Virginia, in the Commonwealth of Virginia, it's $45 plus $10 when you go to get sworn in. So all together, I paid $55 for my notary commission. That's it. Nothing else. I didn't go to the NNA, do it on their website. I went directly to the state and I suggest that you do the same thing. Next cost is going to be your E&O insurance. Now, depending on what state you are in, you may also have to pay for a bond. I do not have to pay for a bond because in my state, it is not required to be a notary loan signing agent. E&O insurance is something that you definitely need to have that is non-negotiable. The only thing that is negotiable is how much E&O that you have. Now, you can start off at $25,000 for signing service. $25,000 is definitely enough. Or if you want to go ahead and start out, you know, go big or go home, you know what I'm saying? Because... <laughs> What's the point? Okay. I did a hundred thousand in ENO, which I paid for one year, a hundred and twenty dollars for one year. I did that through the NNA, though I said if you watch one of my previous videos where I brought it up, I said that well, I'm going to get another ENO provider because apparently ENO from the NNA doesn't cover notary loan signing agent work. And I wish I would have known that before I paid that 120, but it's all good in the hood. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point. We are still learning and growing in this business. I will suggest that you do your research for different companies and see which one provides the best coverage for you as a notary loan signing agent. Okay. I chose to pay for one year all up front. They do have options where you can pay monthly, but you can expect to pay at least a couple of hundred for um 100k in e and o okay that's the max you know what i'm saying like i said i paid 120 there may be some that go higher than that or maybe some that goes lower you just have to do your own research guys simple as that next thing we are going to talk about is your supplies okay mainly being your printer because if you don't take anything from this video you need to get yourself a good printer Okay, like I seriously mean that guys, you need a printer 
that is going to handle the workload that you're going to be doing. You need a workhorse, okay? You need something that is not going to break down on you after you print sheet number 542, okay? So I definitely suggest investing a good amount of money in your printer. Um, if you saw my live on Monday, you saw that I have a HP LaserJet Pro M428 DW. That printer was $350. It works for me. It To me, it's a good printer. I have a dual tray, the tray at the bottom, and then there's a feeder tray, which makes two trays, okay? It works for me. It does the job that I need to do to make the money that I need to make. Okay, but once again, do your research. Some people have commercial printers if that's the route that you want to go. You know, some people obviously have the printer that is kind of well known in this business, which is the brother printer. It's up to you, but I definitely suggest to be prepared to spend at least $500 for a good printer for your notary loan signing agent business. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do a quick tally. We are currently at around 800 bucks already. Like I said, this is an investment, okay? Like keep that in mind when you are starting your notary loan signing business. Next thing that I wanna talk about is obviously your training. Now, your training, it can vary. Some people choose to just go do their training through the NNA, which is perfectly fine if that is something that you feel comfortable doing, if you think it provides you with the information that you need to get started that's on you some people like myself i decided to go and do training with mark wills his program can range anywhere between two to five hundred dollars so that is definitely an investment that you have to keep in mind i would say just do what's best for you the specific route that i took for my training is i did mark wills course i took his professional course and then after taking his professional course, I went and did the signing agent exam and background check with the NNA. So all together for my training, I paid roughly $400. Once again, that includes Mark Will's professional course plus taking the NNA's training exam and background check. Again, you don't have to do the route that I took. I do think that having the NNA certification on your resume looks good. They are pretty much the industry standard and a lot of companies will not work with you if you are not NNA certified or do not have their background check. So that's why I decided to go ahead and just do the NNA exam and background check. Now, the good thing is with Mark Will's course, there is payment plan, so you don't have to pay all at once. And for the NNA, I just went ahead and paid that all at once. It was only like 60 or 70 bucks. And that was for me to get the background check and take the exam. It definitely is the investment that I think is necessary in order to really get the work and get the volume that um, you want when you're a notary loan signing agent. Okay, so we've talked about getting your notary commission. We talked about getting your insurance. We've talked about getting the supplies that's needed to do the work. And we've talked about money for your training. Now, the next thing that I definitely wanna mention to you guys about investing upfront, honestly, is paper. I know that sounds obviously like, okay, but, specifically paper because obviously you need to get your supplies like your stamp and some of that other thing but if i would have known i probably would have gone out and just get like a a month's supply worth of paper you know starting out so that that's one of the things that you don't necessarily have to think about because i was always running out of paper and having to like oh okay because you don't think like okay you're gonna be printing a lot of documents you're going to be doing a lot of printing it's going to be a lot of paper that you <laughs> are going through i just say go ahead and up front just get you like a whole bunch of paper like go to walmart because walmart has the cheapest paper i'm waiting for somebody to tell me otherwise go to walmart just stack up and, and get spent like just take a hundred dollars literally just take like a hundred dollars and go buy paper legal and letter trust me okay if you don't hear anything else within this video trust me go stock up on paper you will absolutely not 
regret it because it's something that you're not going to have to think about how I keep my supply. I actually keep paper in my trunk. So I know if my trunk su supply is getting low, that means my supply in my actual office space is low. So that's just something that you could just never have enough of and that's paper. All right, you guys. So all together, let's do another tally check how much we have spent to get us started with our notary signing business. We have your notary commission, $60. We have your E&O insurance for one year. That was roughly about $120. Then we have your supplies for your printer. We're going to set that at $500. Then we have your training. We are going to set that at another $400. And we have $100 that we are going to spend on paper because we want to be prepared. Those fives are truly the necessity. So you're already at over a grand that you need to invest in this business. But I'm going to talk about some other fees that you may want to invest in if you know that this is something that you want to do long term. The first thing is getting your LLC. People ask me all the time, do you need your LLC to do this business? How do you do business without, you know what I'm saying? Are, are, are you incorporated? And the answer to that is absolutely not. Here's the thing. As a notary loan signing agent, you are self-employed. You are a 1099. You are a freelance independent contractor worker. I have worked as an independent contractor for so long. So I know that I don't have to have an LLC in order to work as an independent contractor, you can absolutely just, for tax purposes, you can just use your social if you choose to do that. Now, this is the route that I took because I didn't immediately go out and get my LLC for this business because I did not know if this was something that I wanted to do long term. I just knew that this was something I wanted to try my hand at, get my feet wet in, and if I like it and I want to turn it into a business, I will absolutely get my LLC. But for right now, I'm still going to get my coin without that LLC, okay? I don't know if you guys know this. You can also still get your EIN from the IRS for free. You don't have to pay for that. Now, I did get an EIN through the IRS for me to use for my notary loan signing agent work so that I can just file it separately and not have to use my social because having to put your social out in so many different places, I was just like, no, let me just get this EIN. I'm an independent contractor. Just file it. You know what I'm saying? Whoop, whoop, the bam is done. So that's what I did. And guys, that's absolutely free. You do not have to pay to get an EIN number through the IRS if you choose to go that route. Now, in order to get your LLC, which is something I'm definitely going to do because this is something that I want to do for the long term, you have to check with your state to see how much it costs to file for your LLC. Now you can go to sites like LegalZoom. I wouldn't suggest that because you're gonna be paying a whole bunch of extra fees when you can just really just do it yourself, okay? Do it yourself, go to your state's website um, or just Google LLC, whatever your state is, and something will come up that will direct you on how to print out the form to get your LLC. Now for most states, it's roughly about a hundred bucks. Once again, just do your research and check to see what it is for your state, how much that it actually costs to file and what other costs may be associated with that. And speaking of other costs, now, in order to be a remote online notary and do RONs, for those that may not know, that's when you're notarizing via like FaceTime or Zoom or whatever the case may be. That's an extra fee that you have to pay to get your commission for that. So that's not something that I have currently. Again, it's something that I definitely plan on doing. I didn't do it immediately because again, I did not know if I wanted to stay in this notary business for long term. Check with your state to see exactly how much that fee is. It's probably going to be extra um, just to get your commission. And then also you're going to pay a fee for um, whichever platform that you choose to do your remote online notarizations on. There's a fee there. That is something that you can do at a later time when you know for sure that this is the business for you.
All right, you guys, that is the cost associated with becoming a notary loan signing agent. I hope I broke it down for you. Let me know in the comments what other videos that you would like to see. Give this video a thumbs up. If I get, I'm going to tell you something. If I get a thousand likes, because listen, that mock signing's coming. Y'all have been asking for this mock signing. If this video gets a thousand likes, okay, a thousand thumbs up, I will do that mock signing faux show. Like that will literally be the next video, okay? But I need a thousand likes on it. I need this video to do a thousand likes. I need this video to break records, okay? If you want me to do that mock signing because that is going to take some talent <laughs> for me to record that. And I definitely want to bring you guys all the resources and do whatever that I possibly can um, so that you all are, you know, finding my channel to be resourceful and educational, you know, are doing this for you guys, but I'm going to need that thousand likes. So that is it, you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, peace. <laughs>